Easter is traditionally seen as the start of the diving season here in the UK. But for many divers, that now starts a few weeks earlier here at the London International Dive Show. With over 200 exhibitors displaying everything from dive equipment to holidays, even the most discerning diver is spoiled for choice. The dive shows have been going for 27 years. They started at Crystal Palace Swimming Pool, whereby you could actually go in, get the kit, jump in the pool, give it a try. Uh, but obviously the, the popularity meant that it outgrew the, outgrew the venue, moved around. Here we are at the Excel Centre. We now have over 225 companies, 14,000 visitors expected over the two days, which makes it a very busy weekend for all. And the, the stats suggest that 85% take diving holidays, and the, the average spend per visitor is in excess of £300. Representatives from diving destinations around the world are on hand to help divers choose their next holiday, be it the ever popular Red Sea or Malta, or more exotic locations such as Newfoundland or even Antarctica. From torches to computers to cameras, on display is every gadget a diver could possibly need, including this rather sexy mini ROV, which can operate at over 150 metres. Uh, basically this is a small, remotely operated underwater camera. Uh, this model in particular is called the Video Ray Pro 3. It's got a depth rating of up to 152 metres. Um, it's capable of doing a little over two knots. This lovely bit of kit can even be fitted with a sonar or a grabber, so you never need to lose any equipment again. Showgoers can also hear from a range of speakers on topics from sub hunting to cave diving. British freediver and world record holder Sarah Campbell told her remarkable story so far and her plans for more record breaking later this year. Yeah, the big thing for me this year is I've just announced that I'm going to attempt to be the first woman in the world to dive through the arch in the Blue Hole in Dahab, constant weight, so using only my monofin. Uh, probably a handful of men have done it, two men have done it, no fins, just breaststroke, which is pretty spectacular. Um, and two women have done it variable, so that's going down to 55 with the sled, but it hasn't been attempted by a woman. Sarah's feet will mean a 180 metre round trip on just one breath. Amazing everyone with the incredible story of the upright wreck, Mark Elliott told how he and his team searched for and located this Royal Navy flagship. Found in 156 metres of water, this wreck had been missing for over 110 years. Uh, I'm talking about HMS Victoria. Um, we found this wreck in 2004. It's a very unusual story. A big uh, Victorian battlecruiser ended up standing on its nose in Lebanon. It's been there 120 years without being found. I found it four years ago. Last year, found a connection with Nelson that a lot of his personal possessions are on the ship. And have been down there to find these, really. Suffering dynamite explosions and lots of uh, equipment failures, but we're having a good time. Despite the risk of dynamite fishing, Mark intends to go back soon and find more of Victoria's Secrets. TV personality Monty Halls not only gave a popular talk, but also accepted a check on behalf of Coral Key Conservation. Just been part of a check presentation between the Jack Petchy Foundation and Coral Key Conservation. Uh, it's a substantial sum, it's 41,000 quid, and uh, the idea that it goes towards uh, continuing education about issues with coral reefs and things and carry on the good work that Coral Key do. I've got a bit of a history of Coral Key, is where it all started out for me, so it was a real pleasure to, to get stuck in and, and do the little presentation. Whilst thousands of divers went home with lots of new shiny kit, many others were able to see and touch the latest on offer from manufacturers around the world. Top on many divers' wish lists were rebreathers and holidays to some of the more exotic dive locations. 
With a bit of luck on the lottery, maybe some of these dreams can come true here at the next dive show.